How's it going, guys? Long time no see. Uh, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. It's a pretty decent day out. Got some clouds in the sky. But uh, other than that, not too bad. I got something to show you guys. Check it out. trying to show you guys there that my um, airbag system works just fine I think those airbags were replaced at some point uh, since that truck was built because uh, the rubber on them looks fairly new and whatnot so um, but you know I always like upgrading stuff and it is a failure point on these trucks and everybody knows it so it's been a long time since we've done an unboxing let's do an unboxing before I open this, I want to share a little uh, background on this. This is a system that uh, Brandon and his dad Mike, I believe is his name, have been developing over time. And as with all things, um, when you're first releasing a project, sometimes there's delays from manufacturers and whatnot. So about five or six weeks ago, um, Brandon and I talked and he sent one of these kits out to me. I did pay full price for it. Uh, he wasn't paying me to uh, promote or up his product in any way. He just wanted to make sure it got on my channel for my video series. And uh, let me open it up and show it to you guys first. And then I will share the rest of the story with you. I'm very excited to get this, by the way. And I appreciate the fact that Brandon sent it out to me. Nice packaging. My favorite things to see are nylon blankets. Oh, that's a heavy duty, nice grade eight bracket. Ooh, that thing is sweet. Looks like we've got some instructions and a receipt, a bunch of hardware. Let me put everything on the table here so we can see it. Great packing job, guys. This is uh, much better than those freaking styrofoam peanuts. Those are ridiculous. Oh, these things are beautiful. That's definitely a professional looking product. In case you guys are wondering at the time of this video, um, this setup retails for $1,099. They're actually pretty lightweight, that's surprising. Okay, let me lay everything out. 
hang out on the table here and show you what it comes with. All right, guys, let's take a look at what we got here. It looks like we got a couple of, uh, I guess they're calling it the airborne system for uh, the LMTVs. It comes with some instructions and a uh, bunch of grade eight hardware. This, the packaging on this is extremely professional. Um, all the bags are sealed and whatnot. So, and it was really well packaged. You guys can see that they use some uh, really nice packing materials. No styrofoam peanuts, which is always good to see. And we got some limiting straps here. And then it comes with a couple of stickers and um, tie wraps and the instructions, of course. So and then it shows you a completed picture on the back. Uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. Let's get the uh, one of the old shocks off of the uh, cab and um, we'll just do a little time lapse of the install. It also comes with a uh, bump stop for the cab that mounts on the um, engine pick bracket on the back. I'll have to figure out how this mounts on there, but that was kind of the holdup. Uh, I'm understanding that the uh, bump stops were taking a while to get manufactured.
We got both sides installed. This side went a little bit easier than the initial side. Uh, I don't know if you guys had a very good camera shot on this or not, but there is a bump stop in the kit that goes right there. It's got two through bolts, and then you just tie wrap your airlines back underneath there. There's a 10 millimeter head bolt holding the airlines on with one of those little wire loop clamps. So that's got to get taken out. Uh, let's lower the cab down and give this a try. I just started the truck. It's going to take a while for the uh, air tanks to fill up because I drained the air tanks when I raised the cab so I could work on this. I'll come back once the air tanks are full. Just me pulling on the ladder. No more clunking. I used to have a clunk at the bottom of that movement. I let the air out of them again so you can see them go down. Well, it definitely looks like uh, those are going to work out great. I'm going to give you guys some feedback on either a two or three day expedition we have coming up this uh, coming weekend. And so I'll give you some feedback then. But until then, you'll have to stay tuned to the channel to find out how well these things work. Keep in mind that the travel now is about double on that. Maybe even more than that because that suspension is... There's no metal cylinder inside it, so it's not clanking around. And um, I think I was having some metal-to-metal -metal contact on the, uh, I don't know what you call that, that hoop on the back was bumping into something, and I don't hear it anymore now, hanging on the cab and pulling on it. So if you guys uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And as always... Take care, guys. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.